In this video, we are going to learn about equal matrices. Let's say you have two matrices A and B. Okay? And they comprise of various elements which generally are referred to as A, I, J and B is referred to as B, I, J. Wherein I and J represents in this the various elements of matrix A and B i J represents various elements of matrix B. Now two matrix, let's say A and B are equal if their order that is order of A is equal to order of B. What do you mean by order? Order means number of rows into number of columns where M and N represents the number of rows and number of columns in these two, right? And each element of matrix A is equal to corresponding element of matrix B. Symbolically this is referred to as A i j is equal to B i j. Okay? For i and j meaning let me give you an example. Let's say a matrix A is written as 3 2 A 4 2 B. Okay? And B similarly is written as 3 to A and 4 to B. Now if you see the order of A, that is equal to number of rows which is 1, 2, 3 into number of columns, 1, 2. Similarly, number of rows of three, B is equal to 3 and the number of columns is equal to 2. So therefore, the condition 1 out here is satisfied. Right? Then the second condition says that each element of A is equal to corresponding element of matrix B. So let's say I is equal to 1 and J is equal to 1. So what will be the AIJ? AIJ will be A11 which is this element. First row, first column, this element. Similarly, BIJ will be what? B, I is 1 and J is also 1, so B, 1, 1. So if you see B, 1, 1, that is 3 and both of them are equal. Hence, the first corresponding element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. Right? Now if you compare these two matrix, this 4 is equal to 4, 2, 2 is equal to 2, 2, A, B is equal to A, B. So all the elements of these two matrix are equal, hence we say that matrix A is equal to matrix B. Right? Based on this, let's take one problem. So let's say, we say that if A is equal to 7, 8, 2, Z minus 3, 12 x minus 3 and 8 and b is equal to let's write this as x plus 5 y minus 2 z minus 6 z plus 15 minus 1 2 x plus 4 find x, y, and z. Right? Now if these two matrix are equal, then ideally the value of each of their corresponding elements should also be equal. That's what we saw here. Which means that this element should be equal to this. Right? This element should be equal to this. 
and this element should be equal. If that be the case, we can just e simply equate these equations and get the value of x, y and z. So we have x plus 5 is equal to 7 by putting this and this. So x is equal to 7 minus 5 or 2. Right? Similarly, if you see this and this, we have y minus 2 is equal to 8, which implies that y is equal to 8 plus 2, 10. Here we have z minus 6 is equal to 2z minus 3. Interposing these two numbers, we get 2z minus z, we move this z to the other side, is equal to minus 6 and move this minus 3 to the other side, plus 3, or z is equal to minus 3. Now this is true even if you would have taken some other variable. So let's say we compute these two. So here we have z plus 15 is equal to 12, or z is equal to 12, move this to the other side, minus 15, minus 3, which is again nothing but equal to this value. So you might take one or the other, right? But the value will be the same. But is it true in all these cases? Try to find out for yourself for these balance two equations. Right? 